We know we can save our files. How about if we want to save them in a different format so that we can distribute to other people? Well, we can do that. We go to File, Save As. Although we don't actually want to give the file a new name or a new location, we do want to save it in a different format. On the Save As dialog box, down the bottom here, we have File Format. Now I can hide all this section here about where we're saving it by clicking this little icon here. Likewise, to bring it back, I can click it again. So that just hides the location section to give you more room to breathe. File format is where we change the file type. Now you can see here, default is .docx. That is the Word 2016 format. It's also the same format for 2011 as well. So if you're working with files from 2011, you won't have any problems. The problem comes when you want to distribute your file, send it by email, give it to someone else who doesn't have one of the two newest versions of Word. We could save in an older format for Word 97 to 2004. Notice the file extension is different. It's just three letters, DOC. So I'm going to save it with a different name, Zebra's version 2. Save. Now, when you have Zebra's version 2 open in 2016, you'll notice compatibility mode at the top here because you're dealing with an older format file. And if you were to try to save this file with something that the older format file could not handle, you would get a little warning box that says, I cannot retain this particular feature. Apart from that, most things work the same. It's just the file format that would not be able to open on someone else's machine. So you only need to do this if you want to send or share this file with somebody who has an older version of Word and they need to open and edit the file. Now, if you need to save it and send it to someone who doesn't even have Word, then there are other options. File, save as. Rich text format will retain most of your formatting, but will be openable by other word processing programs. So the person you're sending to might not have Word, but they would like the file so they can edit the contents. Rich text format would be ideal. So let's save that as version 3. Notice also RTF. So it's a good way of sharing files. There is a really basic format, save as, which is the plain text format. Let's go for V4 here. This does not retain any of your formatting, hence the name plain text. So if I save this now, I will be given a warning and ask me what type of text I want to save in Mac. Obviously, if I'm sharing with other Mac users, MS-DOS, if I'm sharing with Windows users. Now, you will find that both operating systems can open the other's text files. You just might interpret carriage returns slightly differently. OK. This document may contain text content, which will be lost. Continue with the save. Yes. This is plain text. If I had any pictures in here, they would have been removed. This is just plain text. No formatting retained or anything. File, save as. Plain text retains just the text. RTF retains all the formatting and is openable by all word processors. Doc by all Microsoft Word applications, regardless of their version. Or if you're dealing with documents that are just for you or are for other people who are on 2011 or 2016, then .docx is the best format to retain. There is another option, and that is actually to save your file as a PDF. I'm going to call that version 5. By saving as a PDF, we are saving the file, the formatting, the images into a format that is openable by anybody who has a PDF reader, which is pretty much everyone, but it is a non-editable format. Now you see here, it still says Zebra's version four because we're still dealing with the text file. We've saved as a PDF, but we don't have that PDF open because that's just saved in our working folder. If we wanted to look at the PDF, I would just need to navigate to my working files, open up the file there, Zebra's five PDF, and we see that it opens in our preview program and looks exactly the same as the Word document. So I can quit the preview and get back to my Word file. So you can take your Word document and you can save it in any of these other formats by going to File, Save As. In the file format, choose the required format that you now want to save the file into. .docx is the default, .doc for older versions of Word, rich text format to share with people who don't have Word, and then the potential for plain text files, should you wish to remove all the formatting and the images, and then the PDF file, which will retain everything in the same structure, page layout, formatting, pictures, etc., but will be produced in a non-editable format for other people to then open in their PDF readers.